Greetings, this is uh, Reggie Middleton, Disruptor-in-Chief at Veritation. It's been quite some time since we've done uh, AMA, Q&A, and the reason is because oftentimes when I do this, there are a few bad actors, and the bad actors use the content of the um, live Q&A uh, to the detriment of the company. So. Uh, I decided to stop doing it, but you know, I said, uh, we'll just change the format and, uh, we'll discuss strictly products and services and roadmap and I answer any other questions that you have about products and services. So, um, I don't have a lot of time, so let's jump right into it. Make this, uh, Meho Donahue, David Miners, Peter, uh, John Gibbons. Thank you very much for coming in. Uh, so we'll jump right in, make this a Q and A. Okay. Um, so questions and I got, I'm getting a lot of people coming in. That's good. It's good to see love after all this time. Um, what questions do you have? I haven't had time to keep up. Uh, how do we get very gold? Very gold is very easy to get. Um, it hasn't been officially launched yet, but it's on the site. Go to dap, D A P P dot veritasium dot com. Go to V E assets. Click the asset that you wish to get. Um, currently, we have uh, gold ounces, gold grams, uh, palladium ounces, silver ounces, silver kilos. Okay, as a matter of fact, on that note, hold for one second. I'll be right back. Keep the questions going. So, <clears throat> um, what we have been doing what the team has been doing is they've been working on a complete infrastructure okay to allow the uh system to be as automated as possible okay congrats on the new ceo edition thank you very much uh, for those who don't know i have a new co-ceo his name is jeffrey tayback he's a uh, wall street stanchion um of roughly 42 years in the business uh 36 years in his own firm uh option specialist um, serves small, medium, and large hedge funds, family offices, graduate of Yale, Harvard, on the Brady Commission during the Reagan um, era, et cetera. And he came on board to help um, with Veritation Securities, VE Securities, which is the US-based broker dealer that we're looking for. It's actually been formed, we're looking for licensure. Now, back to the VE Go. Um, you go to the website, if you, uh, you apply for AML KYC, Okay, if you haven't done so already, and you make the purchase, you can purchase a variety of assets. Um, to give you an example, I took a few uh, physical assets. I'm actually in Washington, D.C. right now um, to do a couple of meetups and to talk to some potential partners. Um, you get kilograms. Here, this is a kilogram of 999 fine silver. Okay, 99.9% .9 pure silver. Okay, this is available in digital form from the, uh, the Vader. Okay, kilograms of gold. Okay, this is 0.9999 fine. Okay, this is 99.99% pure gold, 24 karat. Okay, you get it in many other denominations as well. Um, uh, dig it in pocket, you can get ounces. Okay, that's the primary one ounce, one token equals one ounce. We also have grams you can purchase. It's price correct. Remember, the purchase enables you to buy um, title or proof of ownership to the kilos, to the ounces, to the grams. You also get insurance and storage and use of the blockchain. Um, and we're also building very intelligent smart contracts. These smart contracts um, enable you to take the ownership of your gold and do fancy things with them. For instance, you can um, use them through a mortgage contract. Okay, so you can actually, instead of having a decaying asset, you can have a yielding asset. Um, you can use it to actually borrow um, value. Okay, and here's the deal. The silver, the gold, the palladium, the platinum is available at a very, very strong price. We beat most vendors on the web who don't offer anything but the actual bullion purchase or bullion sale. Okay, so not only do we underprice everybody, but we throw in the blockchain, 
tokens, bear and um, bear ownership, uh, security, insurance, all this for, not for free, but for less than offer just a pure asset. Good cut. You can even get a bigger discount if you take your very tokens and apply it. There's an initial discount. You know, difference per asset. Another discount is available if you use our contracts. The first contract should be coming online next month, um, and this will be equivalent of like a hard money loan uh, contract. And we'll allow you to take the assets close to cost with almost no markup, no premium, if you use a contract. That means that you can now take out loans, okay, potentially make loans, uh, or at least pledge your assets for yield. And you can do it using the gold as a intelligent store of value. Now, if you look at all the other um, um, videos I've had, or many of the other videos, I'm also taking the same token and attempting to unify all 54 countries in Africa under this common economic token. Not just Africa, we're also moving to Asia, okay, and other continents, Europe. And I know it's already tried in Europe with the euro, but bear with me. Okay, and of course, there are things going in the U.S. as well. Um, the U.S., from a regulatory perspective, is uh, much more murky, which is why we're going through uh, the BD route. We're looking to have a U.S. broker dealer, a U.S. registered investment advisor, and a U.S. ATS, alternative trading system. Okay, so let's try and get some more questions answered. Let me just put these little bars up. Greetings, congrats on the CEO. Would you ever set the price of Very? Uh, no, we use Very. It's uh, prepaid fees for our products and services, and we're looking for um, market feedback mechanism to see, uh, basically, you know, what the customers feel in terms of the pricing. Now, we don't have to honor um, or follow specifically what X Y Z may buy and sell their Very for, but we do use it as a guide. You know. Um, there's this adage that the customer's always right. Well, he's not always right, but you know, often he is right because he's the one who's buying the product. And everybody seems to be happy about the new CEO. That's very good because I'm happy about him as well. Okay, very, very accomplished man. Okay, he is Wall Street, typical legacy Wall Street with the foresight and the intelligence to see what's going on. We make a very interesting pair, okay? Um, we will have some announcements possibly next quarter. They will probably make you a jaw drop. Hi, Reggie. I'm a Paul Spencer guy. Can you use the platform? Is it better? Okay, so you can use the platform. Everybody can use the platform in most countries. There are a few that you can't, okay, to purchase the, um, some of the hard assets like gold and silver. Um, other portions, depending on where you are, okay, we are creating some intelligence where the app would allow you in. If you're in the right place, it won't allow you in, but since everybody has the KYC, you go through a manual process as well. Come on in. Please explain bearer asset as it came up recently on one telegram group. What happens if a token is stolen? Okay. So, um, do out of earshot, please, okay? Out of earshot, okay. So, um, a bearer asset is here, a very token. This is like uh, a dollar. As a matter of fact, let's see if I have a dollar. A dollar, U.S. currency, makes a perfect bearer asset. Okay. We use a hotel key. So, here we have a hotel key as a bearer asset. Okay. That means if I have it, I bear it. I have ownership of it, possession of it. This is, so if I'm paid this bare asset, I have it in my possession. This is in direct contrast and contravention to having something and then giving it to a bank. Okay, where a bank has possession of it, they're the bearer, they put that asset on their balance sheet, and then they give you an IOU that goes on their balance sheet as a liability, and that IOU is a demand deposit receipt. Um, basically, the ability for you to demand that deposit back. Now, you're asking for it. It's an IOU, is a short term, medium or long term loan, but it is not the asset that was given initially. So a bearer asset is a dollar, okay? Um, a demand deposit receipt is something other than a bearer asset. It's a claim on a bearer asset. 
There's a saying, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Good chance if you don't possess it, you don't really have it. That's the power, and that's the importance of having a better asset. Now, what happens if the token is stolen? The same thing that happens if you have a dollar and it's stolen. It's gone. Okay? Now, if you want somebody to take possession of your assets for you, you can pay somebody to do that. But in doing that, remember that you do no longer have that asset. Okay? Any new countries we're working with? Um, I'm going to say we're working with the countries. Let me rephrase the question. Are there any new questions that countries that we're working in? Well, we're working in Nigeria. We're working in Uganda. Um, Kenya. Um, and uh, um, uh, uh, Uganda, Kenya. Uganda, Kenya. Nigeria, Bermuda, those are countries we're working in now. Has the new CEO brought in new business? Well, we will find out, okay? Remember, we're a private company and uh, we can't really tweet and put uh, a lot of our private business on social media. That's not very business-like, but uh, the new CEO is there for a reason. And hopefully you will see what that reason is forthwith. How far off regulatory approval from Bermuda are we? That's really up to Bermuda, hard to tell, um, but we're working on it. Uh, Bermuda is not a fly by night organization or state. Um, they have some pretty rigorous and strenuous uh, regulatory requirements. Understandably so, they're seen and they are an offshore um, haven um, that is often seen as having illicit monies go through. So they make sure that everything is clean and understandably so. Um, and there's a lot of negative attention um, attached and a stigma attached to the digital asset and cryptocurrency business. So I think they're being extra, extra careful on top of the extra care that they're giving. No problem at all, you know, because that keeps everybody clean and honest as long as they do it fairly and apply the same rules to everybody and make sure it makes sh they make sure those rules don't discriminate against smaller players, which Bermuda is definitely doing. By the way, kudos to the Bermuda legislature and the administration uh, and the uh, premier. You've done an excellent job. Ready to stand with very and Africa exchanges coming online to the value together. We're working on it. Um, I will be, um, I will be uh, giving a presentation at the night at the African Stock Exchange Association's event coming up in November, and I will put up a full-blown, very tasty trading floor where you'll see things being done that are not done anywhere else in the world. So when I say that Africa may leapfrog um, the presumably more developed um, continents such as Europe and the U.S. and those who poo-pooed -poo me, I want you to go around the U.S. right now, go around the Europe right now, see what the most advanced um, machinations you can find via finance investment in the blockchain, right? Make a mental note and then come to the ASEA conference, the Asia conference, and see me speak and see my team present. And then you tell me who's the more advanced. And the reason is, you know, a lot of the African nations are much more progressive on the regulatory front. Okay, so there are a lot of things to get done, things will get done. Do you think you will be doing more business outside the US than in? I have no idea. There's more business in the U.S. per capita, um, but the U.S. is relatively small compared to the rest of the world. So the U.S. is about 25% of the financial uh, velocity, and uh, the rest of the world has 75%. With that ratio, it's very hard to tell. And for that reason, I'm not trying to uh, pick or choose. My, the best bet is to do both. Now we have 199 people online simultaneously, so when everybody to hit that like button for me and then hit the share button and share it to all your social media. Okay. Help everybody come in, help spread the message. The more people come online and see this, the more questions are asked, the more diversity and um, the more energy we have to keep this going for the next time. Great project. Looking forward to reporting more on very for coin rivet. Okay. Ali Knight and uh, a shout out to Ali Knight coin rivet um, doesn't have the popularity of 
uh, coin of uh, coin desk or or coin telegraph but he does very good reporting as a matter of fact he's done some very good short stories on veritation and that kudos go out to him um, a lot of the big bigger media outlets don't cover what is probably the most um, innovative company in the blockchain space okay um, you know coin Rivet, contact me for exclusives okay you've earned it you deserve it is veritation looking into entering the invoice factoring space um, well, we have some members of upper management that are considering it. Greetings from Orlando. Okay, so the Barbara, greetings. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you. What is the DAP website again? It's dap.veritasium.com, or you could just go to the veritasium.com website and then just scroll down so you find the link for the beta. Okay, that makes it very easy. Everything's available right off the website. Within the next 30 days or so, we will congeal the um, Veritasium DAP with the actual website, it'll be one property, very much like Google or Facebook. Um, Veritasium is still in the latter stages of beta, but um, you know, its beta is more stable than many other production applications. Do all those assets get spread out all over the very tokens? Don't understand your question. Do I need to fill up my own cups? Am I required to pick and choose from the listed assets? I don't understand any question. If you mean from the portfolio perspective, no, a portfolio is a portfolio, okay? So you either buy exposure to the portfolio or you don't. Um, if you talk about the assets, the asset back, the VE assets portion, um, I think you probably misunderstand the paradigm, but I may be misunderstanding your question, so to clarify, I try and answer it. That is a huge gold bar. Yes, it is, my friend. This is huge. You've kryptonized, kryptonized PMs. Yes, actually, that's just the beginning. You know, look for me to do the same thing with uranium, with graphene, with uh, bauxite, with oil, with gas, with rights. We have a lot coming down the line, an awful lot. Do you plan on getting in on invoice factoring after evaluating extracting info from populace for the report? How will you often be different? different? Well, um, at this point, we don't know what we're going to do. Okay, we're just looking at it. Um, I doubt if we're going to be similar to Populous, okay, but we have work to do, and our goal is to veritize the entire world. Any plans to advertise on TV? No. Um, TV is legacy. It's old school, okay? You know, the new TV is called social media. That's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. The best way to get that very is to either earn it or buy it, okay? If you're in the U.S., you could buy it off an exchange or from somebody else. Um, and if you're international, contact one of our international arms and uh, agree to that purchase. How are you, gentlemen? Hey, how's going on? Hey, how's okay. going, man? All right. Reggie, what are you most excited about for Very in the coming months? In the coming months, I'm most excited about two JVs that we're doing on the African continent that I can't share with you just yet. and. Um, who we're doing them with, very, very big boys, and uh, the small contracts that we're going to be running the VE asset tokens through. Um, we are totally transforming what it means to hold gold. Totally transforming. Okay, you're talking entirely new paradigm. Yep, mass market doesn't know for Delta. I, I hope you have Trump standard security. Uh, hopefully I don't need it. But we'll see. How can we help Reggie? I'm from Brazil and we'd love to help somehow. Well, contact Eleanor.read at veritasium.com. Let her know what your skill set is. What do you think about the current stock markets? Uh, they were due to plunge. You know, they were overpriced. Um, I'm not very happy about the current macro situation, not just in the US, but worldwide. And they're doing what they're supposed to do when 2 plus 2 starts equal 6. How and when will the 98% of the tokens be released? That's answered many, many times over for many, many videos. You can go to the Telegram, the Veritasium Telegram chat, and you can get that answer in, de in detail. I love your honesty and dedication to building Very. I appreciate that. Thank you, Reggie. Bitcoin. Did you explain about the max supply of Veritasium? Many times over. Here, this is the premise. The supply of Veritasium is irrelevant. Okay? This is not 
other ICOs and coins. I'm a finance guy, okay, a global macro finance guy, fundamental valuations. And a lot of people who are concerned about supply don't seem to understand the premise behind not only our company, but the way other tokens are put together. You know, things like accretion and dilution only apply. They only apply when you have something to accrete or dilute. So if you have a utility token or a token with a other purpose other than think of a economic cash flows of value directly to the utility holder, then uh, to the token holder, then there's nothing to dilute or decrete, uh, dilute um, or accrete. So with the stock, you have 10 shares of stock. That company makes $1,000, right, of income. If you do a full dividend, then each holder of a stock will get $100. Okay, if that company never made money, or if all the money that company makes never went through to the tokens, then it doesn't really matter how many tokens are added or subtracted. You're not diluting anything. There's nothing there to dilute. If there's nothing there in the beginning before you change the token supply, then there's going to be nothing there in the end when you change the token supply. Okay, now Veritasium has a very, very different, very proposition and business model. But even if it was the same as all the other tokens that people are um, discussing whether they should be burning tokens to decrease supply. That's a ruse. It's a game. It's a farce. Okay. It never worked in the equity markets. It's not working in the token markets. And I want people to be educated consumers of products and services. Just don't go for the okie doke. Did you explain what the max supply? Okay. Everybody wants to discuss supply of Veritasium tokens. Go to the Veritasium Telegram chat. Ask away. Make sure you read the introductory post that's pinned to the top. Okay, I'm gonna end this video now, and it's unfortunate because we're only here for 22 minutes. We have 230 people. I want everybody at 230. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the uh, share button, okay? I will be doing this much more often, uh, maybe a couple of times this week, um, uh, this week and this weekend. I want to create a constant communication. Um, I will only discuss products and services and roadmaps though. I'm not discussing who we're doing business with. I'm not gonna give any information that many of you bad actors out there are attempting to use against the company. It's unfortunate. So many things for other people to be doing at the time, but they wanna be destructive. So unfortunately, because of those bad actors, um, you have a very open and transparent and honest uh, founder who now is disincentivized to uh, share. But I will still share, there's still a lot to share. Product services roadmap, I will share that, okay? Um, any questions before I go? I see there's a few of them. Let's go down to the bottom and get the last couple. Um, green is ready. Great to see you again. Live Q&A. Yes, we are going global. Is there a backdoor in VE Gold to freeze funds? No, there's not. Um, there are. I, I've read and I've actually seen sample code where that didn't seem like it was the case. Um, but it's not the case with us. You know, what VE Gold is, is title to um, uh, private property. So it's title to gold, title to silver. Um, your title, your legal title, it doesn't have a backdoor. If you purchase gold, you get a receipt for it, and it was stored somewhere else, you get a receipt for the storage. That receipt is basically what VE Gold tokens are. Okay, so um, I'm going to end this for right now. I'm good to have such a heavy turnout and I will try and do this. I will attempt, no guarantees to do this every day for the next three or four days. Okay. I'll do it live walking around the streets and uh, we'll work something out special. Like I'll have an interview with people on the street who are familiar with what we're doing and I uh, can share with the uh, um, live AMA Q and A with the audience in the uh, YouTube sphere. Okay. Thank you for supporting us.